So in this video, we'll talk about the equations, different form of the equations. First of all, it's going to be slow intercept formula. So the slow intercept of a linear equation is given by y equals to m times x plus b. Well, m is the slope, <coughs> which is we learned earlier, which is equals to the changing in y over the changing in x. And b is the y-intercept. So what is y-intercept? That means when the line, you see there's a line, right? Intercept with the y-axis. So this point is going to be a y-intercept <coughs> point, which is our b. So, okay, find the equation of the line with the slow m equals to negative Four third and the y intercept is zero and the five. So they tell you that hey, this is y intercept. That means this is our b. The slope is equal to negative four third. So that means the equation is equal to y equals to m times x plus b, whereas our m equals to negative four third times x. Our b equals to five. So this is our equation. We just need to plug in the numbers. Okay. So now let's take a look at our second one. <clears throat> so our second one is they're giving you a graph and they want you to find the slow intercept form. Does this intercept, okay, really straightforward is in here. The graph intercept with the y-axis at 2. So our b equals to 2. But what about our m? We don't know our m, right? Remember how do we find m? The slope is the changing in y over the changing in x. So again, you pick two random points and then find out their x and y coordinate. Okay, so since we already have our first point, let's do 0 and 2. The second point I would pick here, negative 4 and 0. You can pick any point. You can even pick this one, 2, 3, or this one, negative 2, 1. Anything that you like. But okay, so which one is our x1? Well, let's do x1, y1, x2, y2. So y1 is 2 minus our y2 which is 0 x1 is 0 x2 is negative 4 so this is equals to 2 4 simplify it you will have one half so we find our slope we find our b so our equation is equals to one half times x plus 2 Okay, so the next one is write equation 2x minus 3y equals to 6 in a slope intercept form. Find the slope and intercept of the line. So that means you are trying to manipulate the equation and make them look like y equals to mx plus b. That means what we want to isolated y and everything else is on the right side of the equation so we're starting with 2x minus 3y equals to 6 what's your first approach the first approach is you want to move the 2x to the right side so that means you want to Subtracting 2x on both sides. So I have a negative 3y equals to negative 2x plus 6. Okay, so what's next? So the next is now y is not sim it's not isolated, it's still with a coefficient negative 3. So what you would do is you divide it by negative 3 on both sides. So you end up to have what? y equals to negative 2 over 3x 
plus 6 over negative 3. Now we simplify it with y equals to 2 third and then minus 6 divided by 3 is 2. So that's it. It's not hard. So now it's in the form of mx plus b, right? So which one is our m? m is equal to 2 third, which is our slope. So our b is negative 2, not 2, because here is plus b, but this is a minus 2. So that means our y-intercept is going to be a negative number. Okay, so now by using graph and by using the slope and the y-intercept. Okay, so here we have the slope equals to 3. So the y-intercept is equals to negative 1. So negative 1 is in here. Okay, so how do we use the slope? Slope 3, you can see it as 3 over 1, right? So slope is also rise and run. So now from this point, we rise 3 units. 1, 2, 3, which is in here. And then run 1 unit to the right, which is to this side. So it would be the point. So you connect these two points together, it will give you the equation y equals to 3x minus 1. Okay, so in here is a bright equation 3x minus 2y equals to 2 in the slope intercept form and find the slope and the y intercept of the line and graph the line. Okay, so try to Pause the video and do it by yourself. Okay, so let's check the answer together. So now we have the equation. Again, we're trying to make it look like mx plus b. So we want to move everything non y to the right side of the equation. We want to isolate it the y. So first step is we want to move x to here, so we need to minus 3x on both sides. So we have negative 2y equals to minus 3x plus 2. And then what? We divided it by 2, negative 2 on both sides. So I have y equals to negative 3x over negative 2 plus 2 over negative 2. Now we can simplify it. We have 3 half, negative negative will give you a positive, x minus 1. And then we can find our slope and the intercept. Our slope is equal to 3 half. b is equal to negative 1. b is our y-intercept. So we can label it on the graph in here. And slope is rise and run. We rise three units, one, two, three, which is here, and run two. One, two is in here. So this is our second point. Now we connect these two together. We'll get a straight line. So this is the visualization or the solution of this equation. Okay, now we've talked about how to graph a vertical and horizontal line. So how do we graph this line? So y equal to 2, what does that mean? Remember our t-table. So if we have our t-table, then we can graph our line. So let's say when x equals to 1, y equals to 2, right? Y, because y always equals to 2. So you have 1, 2. When x equals to 2, oh, I'm sorry, negative 2. y is always equals to negative 2. So even when x equals to 2, y still equals to negative 2. So we label it. We have 1, 
negative 2 and 2, negative 2. We connect these two points together. So this gives you what? A horizontal line. So similarly, we do the same thing in here for a T table. So okay, x equals to 3. That means no matter what y equals to, if y equals to negative 1, x equals to 3. If y equals to 0, x equals to 3. If y equals to 4, x still equals to 3. So now we have all the pair. 3, negative 1, 3, 0, 4, oh, not 0. <laughs> I get this one. Yeah, 0. It messed up. So when x equals to 3, when y equals to 4, x still equals to 3. So now we can label these points together. We have 3, 0, which is here, or 3, 4, here. So we connect these two together. It gives you what? A vertical line. So that means when x equals to a certain number, this is going to be a vertical line. When y equals to some number, this is going to be a horizontal line. Okay. So the next is slope intercept form. I mean point slope form, sorry. So point slope form is a slope like this one, where m is the slope. So what is y1 and y2, x1 and the x2? We know the x represent the x coordinate. Y is represent the y coordinate. So that means x1 and y1 is a given any point is a point coordinate. So for example, in here, you know that the slope is negative 2, and they give you a point, negative 3 and 5, so we label it x1 and y1, and we plug it in to the formula. We have y minus y1, which is 5, equals to our slope, don't forget the parentheses, x minus negative 3. Okay, we can try to simplify it as y minus 5 equals to negative 2 x plus 3. Okay, so often we will prefer the final answer to written into slope intercept form. So slope intercept form is what? y equals to mx plus b. If the direction preferred the equation of the line into slope intercept form, we can distribute the slope and then solve for y. Okay, let's rewrite the points slope form, which is in here, into a slope intercept form. So let me write it down first. We have a y minus 5 equals to negative 2 x plus 3. So what would you do? The first step is you simplify the right side. So you have negative 2 multiply everything inside the parentheses. So I will have y minus 5 equals to negative 2x minus 6. And then we isolate the y by plus 5 on both sides. So these two cancel. We have y equals to negative 2x minus 1. So now take a look. The graph, the equation, starting with a what? into a slope point point slope formula I'm sorry point slope form now with some operation this is become what a slope intercept form So this is math. You can just manipulate the number. They can change into different form, just like 
you changing your clothes. Sometimes you want to wear a sweater. Sometimes you want to wear a T-shirt. But you are still you. That means they are the same. Okay. So how do you obtain a nine by giving two points? So, and then they want you to write it in the slow intercept form. Remember, a slow intercept form can be transformed from a what point slope form. Okay, so the first step is how can we write it into point slope form? Well, we got two points. That's easy. So now we just need to find the slope. So slope, we have m equals to the change in y over the change in x, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So y2 is equal to 6, y1 is negative 2, x2 is 3 minus negative 5, so I have 8 over 8. So a slope equals 1. And remember what does the slope form look like? It's equal to y minus y1, which is one of the points y coordinate, equals to the slope times x minus x1. So now with slope, we pick one point. Let's pick this one. I know you don't like negative. That's why I want to pick negative. So for y minus y1, which is negative 5, equals to 1, the slope, times x minus negative 5. Sorry, here should be y1, which is negative 2. So we got what? Simplify it with y plus 2 equals to 1 times x plus 5. And now we want to transform a sl point slope form into a slow intercept form so what does a slow intercept form look like a slope intercept form is y equals to mx plus b so that means we want to isolate the y so we distribute the one inside we will got what the same y plus 2 equals to x plus 5 and then we subtract 2 on both sides we got y equals to x plus 3 so here is our slope intercept form. Okay, 3.6 is going to be the same. I want you to pause the video and try to do it by yourself. Okay, so now let's do it together. So again, they want you to have a slope intercept form. We know all slope intercept form can just be transformed from a point slope form which is look like y minus y1 equals to the slope times x minus x1 okay so we have two points we can name any one x x1 x2 that you like let's find the slope first because we already have y1 and x1 we need m which is our slope our slope is equals to changing in y over the changing in x. y1 equals to 1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. So we have 7 over negative 8, which is negative 7 8th. So our point slope form is going to look like y minus y1, which is 1, times negative 7 over 8. Times x minus x1, which is negative 3. So we will have y minus 1, negative 7, 8, x plus 3. So now we want to convert this into y equals to mx plus b. The first step is 
you want to distribute the slope inside the parentheses, we will have negative 7 8 times x minus 7 8 times 3. So we will end up to get y minus 1 equals to 7 8 x minus 21 over 8. And then we plus 1 on both sides. Okay, I run out of space. I'm going to write on the right side in here. So y is equal to negative 7 8 x minus 21 8 plus 1. 1 we can write it as 8 over 8 because you want to find the common denominator. So y is equal to negative 7 8 x and then 21. Negative 21 plus 8 equals to what? Negative 13 over 8. So this is our slope intercept form. Okay, so that's it for today. Let me know if you have other questions.